What's going on guys, it's Ben here from BH Aquatics and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to properly package fish when sending them through the mail. So as you can see right in front of us here, we've got all of the different packaging supplies that we'll need, such as packaging tape, uh, what I think it works the best are the small, medium, and large flat rate boxes that match up with the square, small, medium, and large flat rate styrofoam boxes. This here is a medium flat rate box made out of styrofoam. You need your fish, obviously, which that, since I'm using it as an example, just has nothing in it. And you also need uh, some newspaper to fill up the box. So taking a look at the inside of the box, that's literally all we're going to have to do. Just take your bag of fish, put it in the box, however you feel like it, you know. I, I didn't really do this bag since it's just an example filled with water. I didn't do it as well as I could have, so I'm not going to put it any which way particular, though I recommend putting it in whichever way fits best for you. So if you're packaging a lot of fish, I'm gonna, when I actually ship, I ship with four by, four inch by 14 inch bags, so it will be a lot smaller and a lot longer. So they'll probably be lined up in the uh, box like this, going like this, we'll probably have like four or five lined up there. And then, um, it's all you're gonna wanna do is, once you have that done, take your newspaper here, crumple up little pieces, and literally just fill in all the space that is in between your bags and the walls if there is any, um, just to help insulate it. Either way, if your um, either way if your um, uh, you don't need to have those space fillers and you have plenty of bags just lining wall to wall here, then I do still recommend taking like a, a flat uh, newspaper here and just laying it over the top before you put on the styrofoam cover like this. Um, just to keep any feet that may be able to seep out the cracks here, even though that you should tape it up. Um, if you don't tape it all the way, some air will still seep out. Well, that will help prevent that. Um, after that, that's all you gotta do is package it up. After that, that's all we're gonna need is our box. Once we've taped this box up, which obviously I haven't because I am gonna be using this box to ship out on Monday something different. This here is a small flat rate box. That's a medium flat rate styrofoam box. So just basically, that's all you need to know is make sure the measurements of the box you're shipping out is the measurement of the styrofoam box. The ones that are easiest to find are the medium flat rates at your UPS, your local UPS store, which is what I use, and a medium flat rate styrofoam box, which you can order online, or if you're part of a fish club, you could easily get them from members that do work uh, with shipping fish uh, across the country and around the world. Obviously, as you can imagine, once that's all packaged up, you just want to tape it all shut um, so that the box is nice and square. Okay, so as you can imagine, this is how it's going to be, all packaged up, taped up. Obviously, I'm holding it down because I might use this box in the future. I'm not actually taping it. But for packaging, that's all you're going to want to do after that for writing the address is going to take a white sheet of paper, uh, grabbing a marker, writing down the address that you're shipping to, and then taping it onto the side of the box or the top of the box where I have this packaging slip on. You know, I probably should be covering that up, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and then right on the side, you just want to write live fish with arrows pointing upwards towards whichever way the top of the box, the styrofoam box is facing, so that they don't flip the fish bag over and cause damage to the fish on the inside of the box. Overall, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this how-to on how to uh, package your fish when shipping them cross-country, overseas, basically you name it. Um, if you guys are not already subscribed and you want to see more how-tos like this, we have plenty of how-tos and different care guides and different videos on the channel already, so I definitely recommend checking that out. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so, like this video, thank you guys so much for watching. But before I go, I'm going to mention one last thing. It is summertime, so... I do not need to put a heat pack inside the uh, shipping container. If you are shipping in the fall or winter or early spring, I definitely recommend, I don't recommend, I'm basically telling you you should put a heat pack in that styrofoam container with you. You can buy them cheap at Walmart, the little hand warmers that last 18 to like 36 hours, put them in and you should be good for two day to three day shipping and that's the best you can do. As I said earlier, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.